Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. I'm jumping straight into today's video with my nails already prepped off camera with a peel off base coat. I just need to adhere my nail tips. I will be using a Gel X lamp and some base coat to apply my nail tips. Now that my nail tips are glued on, I'm going to be shaping them and I do want to do a moon cut shape. So I am holding my nail file at an angle and I'll do that on all of the tips. And from there, I will reinforce that with a sanding band. So when I finish blending my tips, I never usually stop at just the sanding band area. I don't know if you guys can see that the nail the nail tip is sticking out. So we do need to blend that a little bit. I am going to take a nail file and get on the sides of the nail. I'm holding it parallel to the nail and I'm making sure I'm also not going too rough that I do not nick my skin. So I'm going to do that on the nails that are, the nail tips that are sticking out and I'll just make sure that I file it in. This just makes it easier for when we do application. The nail tip is not sticking out and everything is blended in seamlessly. You even can do this for when you aren't doing peel off base coats. You do want to do that if the nail tip is a little bit bigger. And now I will be applying base coat on the entire nail and I'll be carrying this in the lamp for 30 seconds. So for today's poly gel, I was starting off with this Model 1s in the clear color, but this Model 1s, this for some reason, this clear poly gel is just super runny. It does not mold very well. I was having a very difficult time trying to mold this. Um, so I ended up switching over to the McCart the McCart clear poly gel. They do have really good formula. I do really enjoy McCart. Um, not tuning their horn, horn or anything. I just genuinely feel that they do have a good formula for poly gel and it's really good for beginners. I really wanted to just give this Model 1's color another chance, but it didn't turn out too well and I ended up trying it on my thumb and it just, it didn't work, out, work out very well at all. I tried doing a cuticle bead and it just flooded everywhere, so I do not recommend this poly gel. I don't know what it is. Maybe you need to use their slip solution or 
there's a different way to manipulate it but it just was not working out for me i just do not recommend it so for nail inspiration we are doing this summer gyru set that i saw on instagram and i've been wanting to do this for a very long time i was just waiting a while for the charms to come in since i did have to order them from aliexpress and a subscriber also requested this a while back and i'm very much aware that fall is basically like next week but i feel like i didn't get to post as much content this summer and i really wanted to do this set for a while so i'm doing it and this is probably my last summer set don't quote me on that it's still mid-august and even though it feels like fall and to be completely honest i am really excited for fall i love the seasons change i love all the fall sets that come out and i just love the sweater weather and the leaves falling I just it's my favorite season and i can feel it i can smell it when it's coming i can feel the seasons change i don't know if it's just me but i truly do have a sixth sense for when the seasons change i've also been doing a lot of fall prep i've been stocking up on teas and Hall halloween decor some hoodies and sweats and i just love the fall weather especially halloween i'm like so excited for that i'm so excited to do halloween sets um but yeah we're still in august so we're doing a summer set today and i'm gonna stick to that i will see you guys in the next portion of this set i'll let you guys watch the rest of the application So here's how my application is looking. We are gonna go ahead and wipe away the sticky layer from the poly gel just so that we can begin filing.
we are now ready to begin gel art i will be taking this pink gel polish color from madam glam and i'm painting the thumb so i'm gonna start off with doing all of the base colors first so i'm doing all the fingers i'm painting them all there as their base colors i will be doing two coats for each finger and it will be cured for 30 seconds each for Ma for madam glam i do like to do a 60 second cure just for the so that it's fully cured all the way and it doesn't crinkle so i did i believe i did do a 60 second cure so i do recommend it if you are using madam glam but if you're using other gel polishes that don't crinkle you can just use the 30 seconds but to be on the safe side 60 seconds is great to do Now that we have all the base colors down, I am going to be creating this water effect. So I'm, I mixed white gel polish and some top coat and I'm going to be painting that on the entire finger. I'm not going to cure this. While it is still wet, I will be taking a dotting tool with top coat and dotting that all over the nail and just kind of let it bloom a little bit. You can use blooming gel if you do want it to be a little faster and spread a little more. So that is also an option as well.
Now that I'm done with the nail art, I will be topping everything off with some top coat. I will be applying this on all of the nails and curing this in the lamp for 60 seconds. And I'm doing this before we do the 3D art. This is my personal preference and I just like the way the texture stands out when I do it this way. If you do want to do the 3D art before top coat, you can do that if that is your personal preference. So here are how my nails turned out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I do have everything that I used linked in the description box. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. I love, love, love summer sets. I'm just so sad that summer is leaving, but this is a perfect end of the summer nail set. I do hope to see you all in my next video.